Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today. I really don't. All I know is I'm not staying home. It's been raining for the last three, four days and I just feel kind of lazy, but also want to get a lot done. Like I want to go, 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 go. So yeah, I know I do want to do some online shopping. Um, again, for those of you who know, my local mall never has anything. I always have to go out of the city to um, get a few cute pieces and then or resort to online. But again, right now me looking is not really much. I also like to try my things on. I always have bad luck with sizing, so online for me is very limited unless I'm very sure it's gonna fit. Um, I've been really obsessed with H&M lately and also Dynamite. I got the cutest paper bag pants from Dynamite. They are so, so cute. I cannot wait to style them. It's really a hit and miss for me for H&M. I adore H&M, but sometimes it's just not what I'm really looking for. And I find that like every single city has like different selections, of course. So the best ones are always outside my city and I always end up hitting the jackpot when I go there. But the ones in my city aren't really the greatest. Okay, little H&M rant. For those of you who shop there regularly, you know, um, the return policy for like sale items is garbage. Um, you basically, it's a final sale if it's a sale item, you can't like return it, you can't exchange it. That's whatever. Um, the other day I went to H&M and I'm like, okay, like I need just a pair of like black simple pants. So I go, I look around, don't really find anything. I go in the sale section, I find one. I'm like, okay, perfect. I find one that's my size. And again, for reference guys, usually with pants, I'm either a size three, four, or five. It really just depends on the brand and also the material. I found this one, it was a size four, and I'm like, okay, perfect. It's the in-between. I usually get really lucky with the four. That's my most common size. Um, and then on the label, it said of the pants, like super stretch. So I'm like, okay, I thought nothing of it. When they're super stretch, I truly have no worries at all. They even felt like a jegging material. But again, H&M sizes, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, they run pretty small, especially with the pants. I find like they run small compared to other retailers. So again, I go, I grab them. I quickly go to the change room to try them on and um, there's 15 minutes till closing and the guy's like, oh, um, sorry, the change room's closed. I just took my last uh, person. Um, I can't let you in. And like, I found the thing of it. I'm like, okay, like whatever. I was gonna ask him, like, please can I just try these on quickly and I'll, I'll be done. I just won't need these pair of pants. But I'm like, okay, like, I thought nothing of it. I didn't really want to bother. So I go to the, to cash out and I like ask the girl, I'm like, okay, I just want to clarify. I know all sales items are final sale, but is there any way that if this doesn't fit, I can exchange it only because I wasn't able to try them on. I didn't know you guys changed your clothes room 15 minutes earlier to um, your actual closing hours for the store. She's like, oh, um, no, you can't. Um, unfortunately, everything's final sale, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. Um, I was like really hesitant at that point because, I, again, I don't want to buy them and then they end up being useless if they don't fit. Um, I'm like, okay, whatever. And she asked me like, oh, like what is your size usually at like garage and stuff like that? I'm like, again, three, four or five, just depending on the material. She's like, okay, well, these are four, they're super stretch. You should be like perfectly fine with these, honestly. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't fit you. And I'm like, yeah, I was kind of thinking the same, but I was a little hesitant. Anyways, I bought them. I go home, guys, no, like they don't fit. They don't fit at all. It felt like they were like three sizes too small. They fit all the way up to like midway to my thighs. I can get them around my waist, but you know I'm gonna look like a can of sardines in there. So I literally, I was so hurt. Like I literally was moping on these pants for the last few days because again, I hate wasting money like that. And also I was super excited to get them because they are super cute, just like a plain simple pair of black skinny jeans. And now again, I have no use for them because all my close friends and family don't wear my size either. So yeah, I'm just a little butt hurt. Um, I don't know why H&M's return policy for sale items is garbage. It's complete garbage. Um, and I know a lot of people have talked about this before. Like they really don't like the return policy for sale items. I don't see unless it's like something really, really like I don't know. Like of course I get certain things can't be returned or exchanged, but like a pair of pants that I just need to size up. So sad. I'm just I'm hurt.
guys okay as i said i am not staying home today i finally decided on the few places that i'm gonna be going we're gonna hit the lcbo because i'm running real low on wine and you guys know if you're the ogs you know that wine's basically the only alcohol i drink um we're gonna go to walmart to get some groceries back with a little grocery haul got some peach water if you haven't tried this you're missing out then a big can of chickpeas i want to make hummus i got these little like fiber bars i love these they're like the brownie kind they also have like lemon and like a cinnamon one too some frozen broccoli smaller can of chickpeas just depending on which one i want to use um, some mild salsa because we can never have enough salsa and the calorie wise craft creamy caesar guys if you want to watch your calories the calorie wise are like half of the calories of the original then this ice little mango drink that i am obsessed with a can of tuna can't forget some bananas that's important and then last thing is just some corn Okay guys, so today I'm gonna be cleaning my room. It hasn't been this messy in a while. And of course, I had to take you guys with me on this little cleaning journey. By the end of it, I'll show you a little quick room tour as well. I'm gonna start off by doing my bed first. It feels like I'm halfway there once my bed is all done. And today I'm gonna be washing my pillow covers as well. So I'm taking those off and anything that is on my bed gets taken off right away just to make the process a little easier. In the winter time, I love to have like a blanket underneath and also just my cover on top because it does get really, really cold in Canada. So I need that little fuzzy blanket. And guys, these blankets are amazing. They sell them at Costco and I believe it's Kate Spade. I do like to spray perfume on my bed. I know that sounds really weird, but I love everything smelling good all the time. So perfume, wall plug-ins, everything, candle on. My room always needs to be smelling nice and it just feels really good once you have it clean. I do like to Lysol kind of the sides and the top just to clear off any dust and anything that's sticking to it as well. Next, I'm gonna be clearing off my dresser. It mainly has all the jewelry that's been sitting there for the last few days. I just like to put it away in my little Shein organizers that I'm obsessed with. Guys, they are super affordable and they come in a whole bunch of different configurations, which is amazing. I'm also trying to finish my Tory Burch perfume right now. So I got these cute guest earrings from my brother, which is super thoughtful. And I always need to light a candle while cleaning, guys. It's just, it feels really nice when your room smells good when you're all finished. So I can't forget that. And yeah, I also love using this little baby axe. I think it's super cute. For those of you who haven't tried the axe for women, it is amazing. It smells super nice. Um, and yeah, so far so good. Now on to the carpet, which is my biggest enemy. Guys, for those of you who have like a carpet or a bench or chair in your room, you know that you throw everything on there. And for me, it's just easier when everything's in the center of the room, unfortunately. I also like to keep my shoes in the closet, so that's why there's a whole bunch of different shoes on the floor from what I've changed into. And then also, I love cleaning my shoes before putting them in my closet. Guys, I think it's super essential. If you're not doing that right now, you really, really should. It just keeps them clean all the time, and especially if you're putting them in your closet. On my carpet, I do have a little Alaya skincare box that I got sent. This is my first official collaboration, guys, so I'm super stoked. Also, guys, a little lint roller, little tip if you have any fur carpet, vest, clothing, or anything like that. Using a lint roller after you have vacuumed, if you do vacuum your fur carpets or anything like that, right after truly makes a big difference for those of you who own anything fur you know that everything sticks to it so the lint roller is truly a lifesaver and if you can vacuum the product vacuuming first then lint rolling will truly save you because everything sticks to it guys no matter what you try and having that extra step like the lint roller will make a difference Next, we're moving on to my desk. There are just a few things on here. It's not too, too messy. But again, putting everything away. I did buy a pack of beauty blenders that I like to rotate between once the other one gets old. And then putting all my papers and everything like that away. 
Then we have the offending chairs that everyone has in the room that collects a whole pile of clothes, whether they be clean or dirty, that need to be put back in your closet. And then also all the makeup that I just have there as well. done cleaning my room i'm just gonna end the video with a quick little room tour for you guys right when you walk in on the right hand side you have my clothing rack that i got from ikea i just like to keep all of my collaboration and video stuff on there and beside that clothing rack is my dresser that i also got from ikea a candle a little cute picture some jewelry and my perfume and then i have my tripod and ring light in the corner dead center is my bed and with a full length mirror and then my two accent chairs from Wayfair and a cute little fireplace because it does get cold and I have my little desk setup that I also got from Ikea and my carpet from Winners. Winners.